that's another thing. Don't confuse duration with uh, quality of work either because yeah. a lot of people, you know, they'll say, well, I've been doing this for, for five years. Why am I not big yet? This game is rigged. And it's like, but what were you <laughs> doing for those five years? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know how many people, especially recording artists and, and producers, where they'll, they'll, that's what they'll say. They'll say, I've been doing this for 15 years, but what did you do in those 15 years? I mean, how concerted were your efforts? How many beats were you making a day? How much time did you put in? Yeah. My, As a general rule, I don't care where you are because uh, you, you, the, the top-selling producers on the Internet aren't even from these big cities. Granted, Cash Money AP moved to L.A., but he was from an island yeah. that no one's ever heard of. You know, Mantra, no one's ever really seen his face, top selling producer. So there are a lot of people out there that aren't in these hot spots, and they're still making good money. Dream Life lives in Panama, you know what I'm saying? And you can do it anywhere. The difference is the work ethic. And what I, what I tell people as a general rule is just, if you're working a nine-to-five, and you want to quit and you want to make music for a living, you just apply the same principles. Yeah. You show up, you clock in, you do your work while you're there and you focus on it. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people my, my bad, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, they like the, uh, the idea of working for yourself, but it's, it's not uh, planned out. Basically. I mean, I know you're obviously we're both grown. We live on our own. You know, you know what health insurance is, you know what everything is that you have to pay for. And a lot of people don't know what that is. So, you know, they're ready to just quit and do this. And then when you move out and you get hit with uh, your bills and your insurance and all this, then it's kind of like it's different. You know what I'm saying? So you it's it's not as easy uh, as just you have to you have to have a plan, which I heard you mention when you're talking. I jumped in a little late, but that's the first thing I heard you say mm -hmm. when I jumped in this, you know, like there really has to be a plan for this because when you have a job, they have the plan for you. They hire you. They say, this is your benefit. This is your schedule. Come at this time. It's so easy because all you need to do is show up and go home. That's why, like, you'll hear a lot of people like Gary Vee say that, you know, or um, Elon Musk say they wish they could work normal jobs because you, you get told when to come, when to leave, you go home, you turn off. When you're in mm -hmm. this, you know, you're a constant yeah. cycle. You're going, you need to market, you need to change your brand. You need to, if you don't get paid tomorrow, your bills don't get paid. You got to be able to know to invest and get your own, you know, uh, retirement plan going. There's a bunch of stuff. You don't just, you know, make 3000 a day and then blow it on a car. Like it's, it, there's a lot to it. That's why, you know, if, if you work five jobs, like how would I ever know that? Cause all I see is you going crazy on YouTube with B stars doing interviews. So you're putting in work, you know, like, I don't know. It's just a weird concept to me. I feel like some people can work. I have a friend that works four jobs and has two kids and still is able to come, you know, over for an hour a day. Like he just knows his schedule. He knows how to make things work, where to get his sleep and how to live his life. And it's just some other people can't do that. It's it's just each person's different. Yeah, I, I always get a little apprehensive when I know that there are people who are about to quit their traditional job and jump into music full time, but they're also unstructured people who can't motivate themselves to wake up in the morning and do the work because it's yeah. easy to be creative. And some people can't even force themselves to do that because they're not used to being creative on a schedule. Right. And then in addition to that, the creativity doesn't really matter if nobody's hearing your music. Mm -hmm. So, Put yourself, you got to put yourself on a schedule. If you're firing your boss, you're becoming your boss. Exactly. Basically. You're the one cutting your own check. <laughs> you got to well, do and, and And I'm glad you said that. Uh, the, the thing about um, a nine to five, you work, at a, you work for someone else, they have the structure for you. Yeah. When you work by yourself, you are the HR department. You mm -hmm. are handling payroll. You're the person that handles your own insurance. You're the person who delegates work. Yeah. You're the person who's you're, you're the marketing department lead. You're you're the guy in the factory. You know what I'm saying? You're you're, you're, you're doing, doing everything. Every, everything, everything. Yeah. So if you're not ready for that, then I would say before you jump into that in, into the deep end, start learning and start slowly planning for that transition. Mm -hmm. Some people can just jump in and and 
You know what I'm saying? They, they, they find their way. But the average person can't do that. And the last thing you want to do is jump in without a plan. And then when you start drowning, it, it burns you out. And then suddenly music isn't fun for you anymore. That, yeah. That's the tragedy. It's, it, there's so much into it. And you have to longevity, man. That's what I tell people you got to think of. Because, you know, you're working for a company, let's just say, even even McDonald's. Let's say you have like a, you know, a normal job like that. Like this company has been founded forever. They have everything figured out. They have longevity in their game. And when you're working on your own, like let's say you're making a hundred thousand this year, that doesn't guarantee next year you're gonna make a hundred thousand unless you know what you're doing. You can project numbers and figure out where sales are coming from and how to change. But like there is no guarantee in this. For all we know, like just like the the you see the record that the industry went from you know, physical to streaming, and they don't know what the hell to do now. You could see how they're finicking for certain things when it started going to iTunes and Spotify, like, oh, uh, now let's do this type of deal where we take money from here because they're running out of money. Walmart's no longer selling the CDs for them. You know, it's no longer, it's just things like that in a year could happen again. And streaming can just boop, somehow it just something switches, something new comes out, and you got to be ready for that because if you're not, like, you're going to be, begging your boss for your old job back you know so there's just yeah there's so much that goes into it speaking from experience that's definitely the, the case uh me and lifestyle have a lot to talk about moving forward so